All right, so here's the deal. TMZ posted a very interesting story on May 18th of 2017 titled Kylie Jenner Obsessed Fan Confesses to Murder. Let me go and read this quick article to you. The man who was arrested trying to get onto Kylie Jenner's property multiple times has now confessed to murder. Anaheim Police Department says Marvin Maga, Maga, Magalanes, I don't know how to pronounce his name, turned himself in and cop to killing a 49-year-old homeless man back in January. Cops say they've also linked him forensically to an unsolved murder from October of 2016 of another homeless man. How many people do you have to kill to be considered to be a serial killer? Is it two or three? Anyways, 25-year-old Mal Malgalane, Malgalanes or whatever is the same man who was arrested twice for his attempts to contact Kylie. As we reported, he drove through the security gate at her exclusive Calabasas neighborhood, the Oaks. He escaped from the psych ward after one of those arrests. Malgalanes has been booked for two counts of murder with special circumstances. So there you go. Let me tell you something right now. And you, and you think that the Kardashians and the Jenner girls got to worry about the brothers? Anyways, uh, Kylie, you're safe in these big brown arms. You know, my beautiful snowflake, you know, I'm glad that you came to the dark side because we would never do this to you. You know, you put me in the sunken place, I'll put you in the sunken place, baby. Have your mama Chris Jenner stir that teacup. You know what time it is to get it popping, baby. Nah, I'll just playing with you. But seriously, the all jokes side, man, y'all know I love these white women. I love the Kardashians, the Jenners, the West, Tang Clan, the whole damn, uh, all of them. They're wonderful people. Uh, you know, they're like Wu-Tang Clan. And, and, and Kylie Jenner is like the ODB of this thing. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just totally, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking around, man. Because I know my girl Kylie can take a joke, man. But seriously, this is no joking matter. I mean, this mofo has allegedly killed at least two people. Could you imagine how many more people he may have taken the life of? I mean, this man is the ultimate thief. There, there's no wor worse thief than somebody who's going around killing people. A freaking murderer. This is ridiculous. It's crazy. I understand that the Kardashians, the Jenners, the West are the shit. They're lit. They're everything. They're too legit to quit. I love their families. I think they're wonderful people. But I'm not I'm not trying to stalk any damn celebrity. And there's a, there's a lot of celebrities I love. Listen, I would never even... Listen, listen closely. I wouldn't even stalk Portia. I would never even approach her in person. First of all, <laughs> the most beautiful woman in the world, the prettiest girl I ever saw, Portia Almighty Williams, the most wonderful human being that ever existed. The most the, the best thing that ever happened to humanity, Portia Williams, is so perfect that I, I don't belong in her presence because I, I know that I'm just a peasant. So therefore, I would never like uh, even really want to be near her because um, I, I might burn up in all of that wonderful melanated light that she has going on and everything. She's she's just so freaking magnificent. And I, I just wouldn't be worthy of being in her presence. A anyways, enough of the Porsche confessions. The, the point is this. This bastard should have never been messing with my girl Kylie because she is adorbs and she's so freaking wonderful. She's such a sweetie. You know, the Kardashians and the Jenners and the West, they're such wonderful, nice, beautiful people inside and out. They are just as beautiful in the inside as they are on the outside. They're wonderful people. And people want to mess with them because they figure, oh, well, you know, they're so nice. You know, they, they take their kindness for weakness. And it's just really shameful. But, yeah, I, I, man. My heart goes out to Kylie. This is a shame, but I'm glad that this man is now behind bars. I hope he doesn't escape from prison. You know, I hope that she has armed security. I hope that she has, you know, a nice little Glock or something. Maybe a Six Hour, maybe a Ruger. I don't know. Maybe a Kimber. But I hope that she has a nice little firearm. I would say, you know, at least 10, 11 shots, not a seven round magazine. You know, I, I would hope that she has, even if it's not high capacity, but, you know, at least 10 shots, you know, and some training to know how to use it. Hopefully, I'll see a new video of her popping up on Snapchat or Instagram or whatever of her at the shooting range. It's very important to know how to protect yourself because there's people like this that, that are just freaking out of their minds. Do you think that he would have, do you think that he would waste a second uh Th thinking about whether or not he wants to hurt her i'm pretty sure that he would just do it i mean the guy is going around killing people he's stalking her this this 
this is fucking crazy, man. And and, I, and y'all know how much I love the Kardashians, the Jenners, in the West. So, man, I I really feel for you. Uh, I'm sorry that you have to go through this, Kylie. I'm glad that this bastard's behind bars. And you know, it, it, hey, if I was there, I, I, <laughs> Uh, I I would make sure I was stopping for Kylie. That's, that's, that's my girl. But anyways, uh, let me know what y'all think about it all below. Ladies, have you ever faced a situation like this with some guy who was just obsessed with you? Look look at me for example. Now I'm not gonna say that I'm 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 obsessed with Portia, uh, but I I just understand how important that she is to the world, and she's the most important thing that ever happened to all of us. And you know, but I, I would never like you know approach her or anything. I I just I just think that she's just so perfect and wonderful and everything in in every single way. All right, all right I'm gonna go lay my my head on on my hand and go stare at a picture of Portia so I can go calm down. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meat magazine blogspot.com for more follow me on twitter at meat magazine meat magazine 7 on google plus meat magazine blog and instagram be sure to hit the notification button is right next to the subscribe button it looks like a bell once you hit that button you'll be sent notifications and you'll be alerted when new videos get posted